Hey guys and gals, let's build the fire command truck by Lego City, set number 60374. And this contains roughly 502 bricks. So, that's pretty much for building, as well as a few other things in here. So it does come with three manuals. And we'll be starting with this one first. And it's got some stickers. So it's not too bad. What is that? There's uh, four stickers. So that's pretty much all we're putting on this. And the set was provided to me by the Lego group for review, for early review. Okay, so got bag one here ready to go. So let's get started. Let's build it. I gotta think of a better jingle for that. So I only have just a handful of these left. I only got one more city set and that's pretty much about it. So, let's see here. And I think I have a few more restrictions left before I can release the rest of the sets. So, the first bag looks like we're just building a burning tree with a rabbit, some drone thing, and a firefighter. Alright. Okay, and I've only had about three hours of sleep. You know, I hate worse when you're sound asleep. Next thing you know, you hear your neighbors fighting, and all they want to do is wake you up. And I'm like, why? So, kind of like getting fed up with it, but what can you do? Well... You got to put the oxygen tank on, and you got to put this thing on here. So, which way does this actually go? I think I don't know which way this goes on here. I mean, we just started already, and we're having a hard time. It looks like there's a helmet that goes on that. I think this is how it's supposed to go. Oh, I see. It's supposed to snap into those tanks there. And then you got to find the head. Now you got to make sure you are pretty good at multitasking with this one here. And you better better pray you get your head on straight. <laughs> got to get that on there. There we go. I got plenty of these little hard hat. Well, I don't think that's going to work, huh? You can't see what he's doing. There you go. A cool firefighter and we got to get the visor too so looks like we're spending about five hours on the minifigures and we need a radio and there's a tile in here that's printed must be for the drone And in addition to the noisy neighbors, I'm finding stuff in my pools, so I think somebody is obviously bored. So I just took that stuff back out and tossed it right back over the fence. Because there's two businesses on the sides of me, and I doubt it was them. hate to think it was. And like... Knock that immature stuff off. But that looks kind of blurry, huh? Huh. It's hard to tell. The viewfinders on these things are like uh, 240 or 360. I don't know what the resolution of them are, but you really can't tell. You're kind of working blind. I used to have a big monitor I would plug into these while I was recording so I can actually see what I'm doing. Like the monitor would be on this side of the table, you would never see it. And I would just be able to glance up and see if I was in the thing. Now I've just got the little viewfinder. And we got a mirror here. Let's do the mirrors. Look like they're about the same, but we're going to do that anyways. 
but I'm like, dude, I'm tired. In my area, though, it's like mostly farmers out here, so you don't get to really sleep in. Everybody has to get up early for the for the early morning harvest. Jay, don't you get up early? I'm like, I'm sorry, I don't. Well, we get up early all the time. We get up about 4 in the morning, and I'm thinking, yeah, but I don't do early morning harvest. I have to go do stuff at my day job. Sometimes my day job requires me to work at night. Oh, we go to bed about 9. I'm thinking 9 o'clock. That's when the action starts happening. All right. Yeah, these are both the same, so just build two of them, but I don't see the difference with them here. So they used them like that, okay. Well this is this is a drone, my goodness, this thing is huge. You know, earlier today I was just freezing cold. Now I'm like burning up. <laughs> they said we're get by Christmas Eve we'll be in the 70s, so it's not going to be too too cr Christmassy. Some people like a white Christmas. I have never seen a white Christmas in my life. I don't know what they are. I've seen pictures. I've seen it on TV. What a white Christmas looks like. You wake up in the morning and the ground's all covered with snow and it's cold and. You're sitting by a fire and opening up Christmas gifts. In fact, I can't even have a fire in my fireplace anymore because it's banned here. <laughs> so it's it's just like you wake up and you breathe. At least you're breathing, you know. I don't want to get into a whole rant over that. And yes, stud launchers. So this is detached here. And at least they were kind enough to have a sticker on that one. And then we get some propellers and throw them on there or some props. Well, that's pretty big for a drone. I mean, but it's Lego City, right? It's going to be futuristic. Well, that one doesn't want to go on there. Yeah, so see, you got to load that up, which I'm not going to do, because I don't want to have to pick all that up. But you know why Lego does that? So you parents have to pick all that up. And if it's on a uh, carpeted floors, it's not too bad, but if those studs are like on a tile or a hardwood floor, oh man, your foot's really going to fill the paint on that one. That's when you start using those four and five letter words. I've done that, but that's because I drop a piece by accident and I step on it. So I try not to do that. I try to keep everything picked up off the floor. Because so I don't want to have to pick it up. Best way to avoid a mess is not do it at all. So, so yeah, what I'm going to try to do is get as much of these reviews done as I can. And so far... We're doing okay on reviews. I think I may have to... Uh, uh, right now I've been d dumping the camera off in another hard drive because I'm that full of doing reviews. And i got to do paperwork for the Ambassador Network too. So we got our Jackrabbit. He's just sitting in here. Do you have to do the paperwork? Yes, it's mandatory, or they'll uh, they'll they'll punish you for this being a uh, for this being a hobby. If you don't do it exactly how they want it, you can get punished. So, I consider this ambassador thing sadly is more as a job than a than a hobby. I thought I would never say it. Mock building is fun. This is like a job. Because, you know, 
I understand that they're providing me this stuff for free with quotes, but it's like I really don't want to. I mean, I don't want to work, especially when I've been working all all summer. So I pretty much take winter off. Why? Because that's usually the time the other other staff want to take off during the time, you know, like the kitty time. Okay, I guess that's meant to fall over, huh? And then with this piece here, you set it here. Okay, you got a bunch of these accessory pieces left. Now there's something to note with these studs. They're not like your typical transparent studs. They have this really milky color. I don't know if it'll show up on the camera. But they're kind of like a blue. And you load them up into here, and you're supposed to shoot this fire thing off. So this just sits loose. Now, the only problem that I have with stuff like this is that studs in this piece will get lost very easily. So you can't just fix it for display purposes. That's pretty much what we're doing there. And I'm sorry, especially for the kiddies who watch this stuff, I don't want to have to pick that up. Okay. I really don't. So, when I do the review on this, I'll just talk about it, but I am not going to pick those up. So, I'm not shooting them at all. And that concludes bag one. Okay, now we're going to move on to bag two. And so far, it's a nice build. So, we're, I'm happy with it so far. So bag two is possibly part of the fire truck. I don't know, I haven't got that manual yet. Um, haven't used the stickers, so we can toss the manual on the floor. And see, the beauty about being on your own is you don't have to have somebody telling you to pick that up. But I put it on the floor because I don't want to have to get up and put it in another place. Plus, my counter space is limited. So we're starting with the minifigure. It's like we're building some sort of, well, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that. Yeah, so I am actually, my camera is limited on space. I've been dumping stuff off. Matter of fact, I'm processing a video and I'm using three computers right now just mass uploading videos. Try doing it on one computer, it gets to be very laggy. So I just use separate computers. I have, I have a, I have three, um, um, three internet connections here. So I use the slower of the two, which is the, which is the consumer grade one for uploading the small stuff. Okay, it shows this as a guy. I mean, which is fine, but then he's got the ponytail in the back. At first I thought this was a, a gal's minifigure, but no, that's a, that's a dude. But I can't say anything. I mean, I don't have the long hair anymore. I've had shoulder length, but never the down mid-back length. And like I said, I can't say anything. I got pierced ears. <laughs> I can't. I can't knock this. I can't knock this gentleman down. How do I know? Because he's got stubble on the face. Okay, so now we're doing some of the other stuff. Now it just shows some kind of a ladder. Okay, and it looks like this is a track piece for a roller coaster. It could be. I don't know. It looks like one. In fact, I can find out real quick. Hold up. Okay, the rails are pretty close to the same, but this plate actually protrudes down a little bit more right here, so it's pretty close. I'm sure it's probably compatible, but I think the carts would hit this real quick. Um, 
yeah, I'm just tired and I'll probably have a snooze after I get done with this because I'm just completely swamped with uh, reviews right now. I, I've got about, I don't know, I have a bunch, I have, I've only done like maybe 15 or 16 or so. So that's how it's supposed to be like that. Okay, so the fireman just goes on here with his wrench. Wait a minute, it goes like that. And he just sits on here like that. Is that even possible? Yeah, I guess it is. Well, you can't even see that, huh? Yeah, I mean, that's uh, barely hanging on there, so that's another accessory we can get called on there. And we'll get started on the next one. Now i got to readjust the camera again here. But, yeah, I'm just burned out of doing build, build, build. You know, i got a big library of parts just waiting for me to build. Like, I... I got all my haul stuff in now, and the sad thing is I'm stuck doing stuff from somebody, from like a designer's point of view. I can't explore my own mind, you know, so, I mean, I'll come up with a quick tutorial, but when it comes time to film it, I can't do that because I'm doing these right now. And, well, Jay, you could take a break. Yeah, but I have deadlines I got to get done, so... I just have to, to do them. And this uh, arrow tile here, this is actually printed. I can always use those. Must be a bunch of utility boxes here. Yeah, this is a, this is a noon build. So we're building this in noon time today. Not an afternoon build. This is a day uh, daytime build. And I'm just trying to get things done, you know. As I tell you, after I'm done doing all these reviews, I don't want to look at a Lego set. I tell them family and friends, like, don't send me any Lego sets. I, I've already got enough. Are you sure? And I'm like, yes, I'm positive. I have way too much. And one of my other sets that I've been given for review, they finally released the, the digital downloads of the building guides. So now i got to finish those up. I'm hoping I'll have enough time before the new year, before I have to do my daily job again so I can actually do the fun stuff. Huh. I don't know what that's for. I think I'm zoomed out all the way. I think because the camera's a bit too close. But yeah, I am getting kind of burned out of doing sets. Oh, I see what's going on. So the fire piece goes in here. It hides in there. It even tells you the fire's hiding inside. Yeah, this is like the last week for the kiddies in school before they're off for two weeks. And that's exactly what they're giving them is. I think it's, I think a whole 16 days, you know, and which won't bother me too much. Um, looks like this thing goes here. May want to be careful snapping that on there. And 
I mean, when I was a kid, we had the two weeks off. I remember one one year, they were doing something new, and these guys gave us the 24th, the 25th, and the 26th off. <laughs> and we had to be back at school. So we would have longer... Um, Ooh, so we can have longer um, uh, summers. I'm thinking, you know, now as an adult, I'm thinking, why don't you cut out all those nonsense classes that the kids don't really need to know? I mean, who wants to do the boring stuff? So basically, this must be some kind of a radio tower. And that's it. So basically, bag, bag or book two, manual two, is just basically some radio tower ladder and I think some kind of ATV thing. So yeah, I just have a few more things I got to review and then I'm done. I can't wait to get back into building my own stuff. You know, I like I had just this winter planned. I you know. I think I spent two or three weeks doing my own stuff. And the next thing you know, for like, this has been like going on the three, third week now. I've been doing nothing but Lego sets every day. And now it's, I may not even, I may, may half my time off will just be involved building sets. <laughs> I wish I had a friend to help me out with this stuff, but... In order for me to do an accurate view, I have to build it myself, you know. I have to experience the build. And to have somebody else build it for me, I won't know what the build quality is. Well, that fits right inside there. Cool. Yeah, I've been going through some more of my shop, and I've been removing some old, uh, well, now it's called e-waste stuff that, and that I just, there's no point in fixing it. And then I found my old, my old rack, stereo rack system that I had back when I was a teenager, and sadly the, uh, now I know why I, I took it out of service. The receiver wasn't just performing well. It just the, the radio was drifted off. One of the speakers only worked, and I got hum out of the other one, which is not good. And I was like, "Well, it had issues before, but I don't know if I want to restore it or if it's even worth it. Solid state. It's not tube based." I just don't know if I want to invest time to fixing it up or not. It's a thousand watts per channel. So you can tell what kind of grade that thing is. And it's loud. I didn't I don't have any speakers that are compatible for it. But I used to play it on low and it was still booming the house down. And I guess we already did both sides. Now, uh, you can't find rack systems decent anymore. Like, I'll hear some, oh, I bought me a new big loud stereo, and it's like some dinky thing, and I'm thinking, dude, that doesn't look like it'll last too long. <laughs> and next thing you know, though, bring it into the shop, hey, I'm having issues. I'm like, well, I have a 30, 40 year old one, and it's still working good. What I'm suspecting, though, when I looked at the service literature, is that the capacitors in it have dried out, the electrolytics. And, of course, it's a Sony-branded stereo. This is back when Sony started taking a dive. And they started using bare minimum caps for the stuff. If it was... If it was a if it was a 20 volt system, they would put a 25 volt cap, and they didn't give themselves a lot of overhead. 
and you would get premature wear on parts and stuff. So I may just invest the time in just recapping, checking resistors for you know, make sure they're within spec. Um, the FM radio is severely out of alignment. Tells me something in there drifted off. So I have to get out the generators and stuff, the signal generators, and have to mess around with that probably for a few hours after I recap the board. Realign it and stuff. And but all the same though, I mean, who listens to FM radio anyways? <laughs> Maybe some of the younger kids do, but I don't. I mean, the FM radio, uh, FM radio out in my area just doesn't really exist. I mean, there's stations, but it's stuff that I don't listen to. AM, it's just mostly talk. They used to have Radio Disney out here, and they took that out and made it into some kind of gospel station. This just fits here. Well, this must be some kind of a ground drone, then. That's what that is. Oh, excuse me. But we have extra pieces, so I must have forgot to put some stuff on something here. Now, obviously, the tires. Okay, I see where they go. I forgot to put the tiles on that. So... Yeah, so this thing fell down and it caught on fire. You know, that's pretty much what it is. And that's what's remaining. I had a bin around here and I lost it. So I have to go find that now. My head wasn't screwed on, I'd lose that too. Okay. Okay, we're done with that one. I think there's like five bags in here, so bag two builds a minifigure, an extension ladder, some kind of radio antenna that falls down and catches on fire, and some ground drone thing. Not too bad. Okay, let's move to bag three here. Oh yeah, look at all those big pieces. We haven't seen that in a while. And we're doing that beast. So I think bags three, four, and five finish up the truck. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that's page one. That's what it is. Start right away. This book is bound. And yeah, I keep my manuals too. They're good references for building things. You know, if everything now is going digital. And. If you're not into keeping your manuals and stuff, they're recyclable, so you can just toss them in the recycling bin. Okay, let's start doing the minifigure stuff. Why not? We got this big pile of parts here, and we got to start with the little stuff first. So we're going to sit here, we're going to talk about this minifigure for about five hours and the theories behind it. We gotta put a visor on this first. To me, minifigures are like an icing on the cake, like the sprinkles and stuff. But not something that I want to sit and talk about. There we go, so she's done. The, the firefighters in these sets, they're looking more realistic every day. You know, which is pretty cool. Okay. Yeah, I may, after this one, I may review this, and I may bring out another one just to start preparing things. Like I said, I'm in a deadline right now. I need to get as many of these things done as I humanly possibly can. So 
I won't be able to enjoy the holidays until I'm done filming this stuff. Brittle brown plates on there. That doesn't look too good. It may break. It must be the mud on the chassis or rust. Hoping I don't have to dump the camera off. These sets right here, that they're under 500 pieces, they take about an hour or so to build. Not too bad. Yeah, I like to do a blunt, honest review on these, but these sets are just pretty good. I can't just say negative stuff about some that would make me a liar. So, if it's a good set, I can't lie about it. Like, this thing so far is pretty good. So, nothing too bad. It's been pretty much a delightful build. All right. These were building with big pieces now, not the small stuff. Sometimes they're making us put one or two pieces in it at a time. So I'm just reading ahead. Like putting these in here, there are two different steps for the same piece. So are the same type of piece. I'm like, why? Next thing you know, they give me a bunch of sub steps. <laughs> Yeah, I've been thinking how I want to do an outdoor studio to do this stuff. Do it on the quiet side of the house with the quiet neighbors. I'm trying to think of how I want to, to approach it. Because sometimes doing these in the house are kind of boring. I remember when I would do these, what I call in the wild. Like if I was camping or something like that and I had a set, I would go somewhere and just build the set, you know, and just relax. You can't do that out here really, but just to sit back and build it, you know, why don't you do it at a park, Jay, and stuff like that. Well, I don't want to be at a park. Well, you can always go to the mountains, but then again it's all private land and most people don't take too kindly of that. In fact, I have to go two counties over just to go to the mountains. We have mountains where I'm at, but it's all private land. You can just drive through it. What you see mostly is no parking or no stopping anytime, so you can't do that. So you get to see all the snow tangled up in the barbed wire and all that stuff. can't stop. There's no snow parks out here. There's a snow lodge, but you got to pay to enjoy it, so it's like a skiing lodge. I don't know if they allow snowboarding there or not. And no, <laughs> I don't own a, I don't own a snowboard. Hey, now we're making two of these. Wait, what happened? Now we're speeding up the bill? Yeah, so the build is broken down 
for where an average builder can build it, and this is rated for six plus. So I'm thinking anybody could put this together, provided if you don't lose the parts. I'm missing one of these. So it's probably in another bag. And I what I'll probably do. It's in bags three, four, or five, and how I know that when I was doing it, I did find the piece that's one of those. Oh, here it is under the manual. There it is. Let's say because sometimes the parts will roll into different bags when I'm doing the the parts thumbnail. But yeah. But I'll tell you one thing though, I'd rather build Lego sets than work on a computer. Because after a while that does get pretty boring. <laughs> I sure like this type of Lego. Uh, this yellow Lego is pretty cool. It's nice and bright and wakes you up. This right here would be a good fire truck for a city. Sometimes I wish I was on their design team. They had a question asked. Uh, if you were the CEO of LEGO, what would you improve? And I'm like... I wouldn't want to be the CEO. I want to be the head designer. It makes sense for more advanced adults who want a really good build experience. Something that you can learn from. Learn some new building techniques. A lot of these, what I call kitty sets, you learn a lot from these. So. You know, Lego, you need to make one of these fender wells that's like continuous, like this. So I can put two tires under that axle. In fact, I wish they'd make a brick or something that fit in those holes and around those. It'd be better to make great boots. would be perfect for a camper. Okay, so it looks like bag three is just, it's just the fire truck chassis. That's essentially what this is. It's almost like building a camper in a way. Alrighty, we're getting there. Few more parts. I still remember the the fire station set that I got when I was little. The one that Santa Claus brought me for Christmas one year. Still wish I had it today. Said it's in a landfill somewhere now, and my parents sold my kitty collection off. And that's why now I hoard. <laughs> Lego is the only thing I've been hoarding up. I will not give it away or anything. Joining the Ambassador Network, we're not allowed to sell or give these things away. Why would I? I'm sorry. You know, I want to. I want to be able to enjoy this stuff too. Not give it to. Not give it away or throw it away. I hang on to it. And we have one extra one of these. And did I forget anything in here? Let me backtrack a little bit, because it could have came from another bag, too.
Huh. I think it goes under here. It goes right there. I mean, it wouldn't really matter, but... And that's what bag three does, is the fire truck chassis. Okay, let's crack open old bag four. Let's see what we got. So I don't know what it is. We're just continuing on the chassis. Okay. All right, so here we are again. They do what I do. They, they, have, a, they have a spot you'd stop at. Like when I do my fifth wheels and stuff, I have a certain spot that I stop, and that's it. And I say, okay, like one night I'll do the chassis, the second night I'll do the slide outs and accessories. Third night I may just do the roof. Fourth I start building the body of it. And usually the fifth night or the sixth night, depends on how long the build is. Then I just take a breather. And then I start editing like a week later. <laughs> editing tutorials is always kind of a treat. You know, it's it's a lot of work, but I get to watch the build as it goes. Hold on. Somebody's ringing my bells. Okay, yeah, I swear that's why I don't do these in the daytime. So we hadn't even touched the stickers yet. And now I cannot find the last one of these. And I do have a replacement though. Well, I think I'm going to have to find it. And, uh, oh, there it is. So, let's proceed on. Let's get going here and get it done. And see if we can breeze through this real quick here so I can go lay down and call it a day. <laughs> Take a nice nap and get caught up on some sleep. Okay. So you're probably going to see me go through this real quick. So let's just start dropping bricks down as fast as we can do it. Maybe make it a speed build. <laughs> well, as slow as I build, probably not. So, basically, I'm just trying to get stuff done for the holidays. So. Alrighty, let's see here. Just about halfway through this manual. Okay. And I hate when you can't find certain things and trying to get stuff done and all that stuff. I guess we're going to make two of these. There's one over here. Well, not yet anyways. Not yet. Okay, put that profile brick there. And... Yeah, we had to make two of those. These little light things. Just stick those right in there and be done. Yeah, I'm just about halfway done. You get to the middle of the book. The problem is, is that the pages don't want to stay where they're at. They start opening up and moving around and... Well, we got a keyboard in there. It's printed too. Set that right in there. Maybe that's maybe that's where they do the midnight chat sh uh, sessions. Is in there. All right. Okay, and that goes there. And I got a video that's done, so now I got to send that up to YouTube for your enjoyment. <laughs> as wide as this vehicle is, you think you'd be able to sit two minifigures side by side, but they're not going to 
do that for you. Like it was going to be mean and not do that. I've seen these handle pieces a lot they use for the backs of seats. I think it's kind of a crude way. So far we've seen a lot of this stuff, but we haven't seen stickers yet, so I don't know where those are going to go. So there's the computer in there. Right there. Okay. There we go. Getting it done here. We're going to finish this right up. I'm breezing through it now. At least it's all big pieces. The last container is big. Uh, I use one of my bigger containers, but the thing is, it's full of really big pieces. <laughs> so, um, we're going to see if we can nail this out here. I'm starting to get tired and stuff. And, and oh, it's a red one. I was looking. I thought it was black. The black one already went. Already put that in there. So yeah, I'd say so far that this fire truck is pretty good. Pretty good. There we go. And now it's the front part of it. They use these for the for the grill. Not too bad of an idea. Okay, recordings. That's pretty good. Make sure we're still doing that. And there we go. I know I get the question asked, why don't I do live chats anymore? Because this stuff's under an embargo date and I can't talk about it or anything until Lego gives me permission to do so. Like we have a certain day we got to get stuff done and once we're done we can do that. I may take a few of these and do live streams on them because now the dates have been lifted but the problem with doing a live stream is I can't just focus on the build. I'm also reading the chat room. And I'm not one of those type of YouTubers that you know ignores the chat room. I'll go into a, I'll go into a lot of the Lego streams. Either I'll get booted out of there. Please don't go on. I'll get banned out of there, or they'll just ignore you. Uh, one time I went into a stream, and I tried to talk to the host, and then one of the moderators kindly guided me and says, "You need to donate for him to read your comments." And the guy, you could see he was reading he was reading stuff, but he wouldn't acknowledge you unless you send him money. And when I was told that, I said, thank you, and that was it. I clicked the exit button. I thought, well, I won't be going back into that room. <laughs> I thought, no, I'm not going to do that. You know, There's no point in doing that. So I got up and left that room quick. You know, I understand some people do this for money and stuff like that but when you have to ditch your fans or your viewers because you want the almighty dollar why bother like this stuff I just do for fun if I do a, a live chat of this this could be a four or five hour build and I'm kind of pressed for time right now so I can't just I can't do that so we got a bumper here. That goes right there. So far this vehicle has got a lot of good details. It's pretty good. I could tell you right now that there's two of these that go on both sides of this, so I'm going to just put them on there now. And I like this fire axe too. It's two-toned and it's pearl silver and red. And that goes right there. Okay. Rotate it around. Put the other slope in there, which we already did. And the little hand saw. 
I mean, we got to cut holes into things, right? We need to get access to a room or something. I think that's what they use. They have a special saw, like a circular saw, and they would just use it to cut a hole into a roof or something if they need to. Okay. Okay. Yes, you may hear some background noise in here because I have the windows opened a bit. It's nice and warm today too. Here I got a thermal on. Last night it was freezing cold and now today it's hot. <laughs> Where I'm at the weather just doesn't make up its mind very well. So I just you have to deal with it. So far it's looking pretty good for a fire truck. And this just sits here with these plates hanging over like that. Okay, I see. So they're just resting on that. So you can just pop that off uh, somewhat easily. I would have just made that just snap in there. So you got to tuck it in there, but there it is. That's pretty beefy. That's pretty beefy. We're almost done here. Okay, this goes on the top. Would have been easier if just to assemble this without all that on there, huh? And then I'll use this for a hood rack here. Let me just stick some lights on that. I guess that goes there. Well, I thought it did. What does that not just fit on there? It shows that it does. Huh. What well, fits on a brick? Did I forget to put something in there? Oh, I'm not done yet. Okay, you're supposed to put this on a tile. And set the tile down like that. I saw this and I thought it was just two steps. I didn't see it was back there. And I saw it on the main picture. So yeah, they just used the tile there to hold that in. And once we're done... Right here, I'll just need that for the ladder that goes on the truck. And no, there's not a ladder that goes on this truck. It's one of these a stinking stud launcher or projectile launcher. And then it goes right in the middle so that's what so bag four did the cab not too bad okay let's finish up with bag five and I think bag five obviously will finish up this portion of the bed And yeah, you see what I mean? It's just full of big pieces. So let's just dive right on in here and let's just get going here. We want to get this done real quick. So we'll slide all that off to the side there. At least now we're using big pieces, not trying to find little ones. So let's, let's get going here and get it done. This bag doesn't have a lot in it. It's just very big stuff. And I'd like to get a few more of these here, if possible. All right. And then, need the mailbox casing. We're about 70% done with just this book alone. Too bad. Yeah, like I said, it does seem like I'm breezing through this because I still would like to get it done. 
do a review on it and say I'm done, move on to something else. It's not that this is not, I'm not saying it's boring or anything like that. I just just want to do my own stuff eventually. So we haven't even touched those stickers yet. So we know the stickers are in bag five. And the thing about doing these doc, you know, documenting everything in these sets is so we know. So if you're buying this for yourself or for a younger builder, then you know when to ex to expect. You know what, what how what's involved in the build. So let's see here. And alrighty. I think we're using these probably to attach the hoses or something. I don't know. Those are sand green too. Mm, got to find more small pieces. Here are my neighbor's heat pump heater running. Uh, mine might be old, but it's not noisy. <laughs> I keep I keep the maintenance up on mine and it's uh it's quiet you know but I have a, a standard natural gas furnace which they're talking about banning eventually out here you know kind of sad that where I'm at they're banning a bunch of things it's gotten to be unbearable but then you know, they kind of get angry because people are leaving. Well, stop banning things, people won't leave. It's like banning people out of your, let's say, out of a live stream when people get whiff of it. You won't get a whole lot of visitors in your chat room because word does get out. You know. Um, oh, don't go in there. They'll ban you if you say one wrong thing. And, you know, I, I, I was even the victim of that, too. I would heed someone's warning, and I'd walk in there into a chat room, and everything seems cool, and next thing it says, you've been banned because, oh, you possibly went off topic. <laughs> I have some people who do that. They go off topic on videos, and I'm like, well, I'm not going to be one of those type of guys. And, and ban them, you know. Everybody's got a story to tell. Some people have autism and stuff, and there's no need to just ban somebody because of something that he or she can't control. So I won't do that. Okay, this just sits like that. Not too bad. Okay, let's get it going here. Um, yeah, let's just... Uh, Let's get it going. Already got that one there, there. Okay, see here. See the parts are starting to get consumed real quick. And the reason being is that these are just big pieces at this point. All right. So, we're going to start building the top portion of this. Okay. Right there. And some there. And we got a piece here. <laughs> and then another uh, a 2 by 2 jumper plate. White on white. I feel like I'm slouching, and this goes right here in that area, right on top of the truck. Alrighty. Bring that closer here to you, get the parts up from underneath it. Oh, we, we can't because we got to move, and now I'm, and I kind of figure we're going to have to put stickers on these. And this is the uh, neon yellow. Well, you know what's going to happen to those. I'm going to rip those right off because I could use those tiles. Um, let me make sure there's not two doors. It could be a mirror of these two. Let me make sure. Uh, 
Okay, there are mirrors. So, what I'm going to go ahead and do is build one now. So, I've said this in millions of other videos. If you're not comfortable in doing this type of style, don't do it. So the one on the left is the one that I'm working from the manual. The one on the right is the reflection of it. So it's just easier to to do it like that anyways. I guess we're using the tiles for the for the decorative design on the side. That's pretty cool. Back in the old days, used to have to sticker that all on there. Now we're getting a little braver, Lego. Now we're doing this. Okay. Now you got to take a couple of these, and it says sticker number two. Sticker number two is the same, so we're just going to place that on there. And you want. the shield portion on the bottom and then this goes right here so I gotta do another one of those exactly like that one and it goes on the other side of the or on the reflection okay and then two red tiles. I wish those were printed, but then again, I wouldn't be able to use those, huh? Okay. Flip them over. Yeah, the bad thing about being pressed for time is, you know, you don't really get to sit down and enjoy the set much. Well, here we go, and this one here goes on these two holders here, okay? That means that this one here goes here. Okay, so now we're done. All right. Now we got to make two doors that go on. I think this over here are two panels. So I'm going to take a look here, and if they're the same panels, they were just trying to simplify this a bit more. So let me just make sure here. Uh, yeah, they're duplicates, or they're mirror duplicates. Okay, well, let's start on it. <laughs> let's get going here. This is the one that's closest to me. That's the one I'm going to follow from the book. And this one over here will be its reflection. And we'll start from there. All right, so this will make the build a lot faster. And I just noticed they got a little firefighter at the bottom. We're about 75% done with this, too. So that's pretty good. And we're going to get this done really quick. You can see now we're getting through all the big parts. I do need to get more of these type of shipping container pieces. These are always cool to have. Especially when they fall down. Okay. Just about done here. Just about got it. I wonder how many missions this fire truck has been on. Couple of 
bricks up here. Now, mind you, we still have some stickers left to put on. And... Jay, you're ruining that build experience. What are you doing? You know, you're ruining it. No, yeah, I am ruining it, huh? This is the back tail lights. I'm just grabbing pieces right now. I'm looking at two different instructions right now. And what I'm doing here is I'm just piecing them together until we're done. And then this one here goes on these clips here. This just sits here. I don't think it functions. I think it just snaps in place. It doesn't move or anything. And that means that this one here goes over here. Okay. Now, if you we'll go through it, I've already built the other side, so we can skip some of that. But we're not done yet. We haven't gotten that far yet because now we got to put this stuff in here. And this requires the last two stickers. Um, the blue one requires this um, sticker number three. And I need to start with the, the blank side on this edge here. And I'm hoping I can get it in there right. There you go. And then we got this really awesome one here. It's got this really weird blue. It's it's kind of like a milky color, but look at the blue on that. Unfortunately, I got to deface that one, so it's going to need another sticker. The book shows it is white, but unfortunately, that is going to have to get defaced I can never get the stickers on correctly there we go and this one goes here and this one goes here okay so far so good you can see right there and you can see the difference. Still got that blue tint to it. Now we start building the other doors. So now I can just fast forward through all that. Okay, you can see now we're putting that on there. And we just, now we got like just a handful of parts left to put together. So you can see that if you read ahead and you just do your mirrors and stuff. It's not too bad, except uh, trying to find the small pieces here, and then we'll get it done here and stuff like that, and then we'll we'll call it, and then I gotta do another video. Like I said, I gotta keep the camera empty. I just got enough. I just need to get enough to do five or six more videos, and then I gotta jump on another theme real quick. And get caught up on that one, and then that's it. Yeah, well, we're gonna have to put some some strings on this stuff. But at least we don't have to tie knots. This type of spool's got this outfitted with this. It should be very easy. Okay, and. Lego made this stuff so easy in terms of it just snaps. This this just snaps in place. And I don't know what's easier, the knot or this, but I think I'd rather have this. See? And then there you go. All right. And the other end's got a hook, so we just stick this on here. 
I bet there's no slim. I bet he couldn't put the stud on that right there. And there you go. And then we got to wad it up. Okay. Okay. And it even tells you to wind it up. Okay, so we got it just like the pitcher. And then this thing here goes in the front of the truck. So I'm taking it these are just accessories that you can change out and stuff like that. So you can swap that out if you need to. So that goes there. Next is the tires. Yeah, you're going to have to really muscle those in. Now, which side do they go on? Of course, this, the lug nut side. I mean, we can't put out fire. We can't even drive this rig until we get the tires on it, huh? <laughs> so we're going to have to. Now, look, this on the front doesn't look too, too nice. And yeah, I could have just made all my tires at once. Okay. Yeah, I get this done. We'll just do a quick demonstration and I'm going to lay down and cool my mind and then we'll come back later and do the actual review on it. I gotta unbox a few more things and but right now I need some shut eye, take a nice nap. And there you go, I mean we're done pretty much. Well maybe not, there we go. You know, anybody's ever played Grand Theft Auto, ever stole the fire truck, used to run things into it, that's what I always did. So this one here could run you could run into stuff too. Done with the sticker sheet. And here's the water here. So basically you'd stick this in, the can in here, and you would just push this. Now this one's not too bad. I'm just going to do that. You also get one of these milky white ones too. It must be the flame retardant stuff. Same thing. Shove it in there and... So you can use that to knock off the fires and stuff, and it tells you not to poke someone in the eye with that. Yeah. It even sh oh, they use the same minifigure with the crying face that we have. Cool. Oh, and we got the magical finger telling us how to turn it on. The blue hand that, that you know, pretty much what it is. And then when you're done with the water, you store it back in here. Not too bad, so that's what those little compartments are for. And if you need to take them out, you just open it up and do that. So that's a pretty handy little storage area for this, and then we're done. Okay, I would say that oh, and the extra studs and stuff. Um, okay, so we can put all this stuff together. The extra studs go in here. And the ladder goes on the top. So let's just prepare that real quick. Um, they show that this just snaps on here. Okay. And in here you just put your studs in. So let me see if I can find the containers again. I don't know what I did with the other one. I have two of them. I don't know what I did with them. Hold up. Okay, so we're just going to put the blue ones in the top. I don't know which order they are in, but just set them in there. Or you can just set them in the lid there and just kind of flop them in or just do it like this. So, the whole point about this is, is so that the kids can launch the studs. Well, let's take the ladder off while we're here. The kids can launch the studs so the parents can walk on them. <laughs> well, Johnny and Susie will definitely get grounded for that. So just don't launch that at anybody. You'll be fine. Stick your ladder on. But before we do, this goes in here. Just fits right in place. The ladder should just fit right over that. 
Whoa. <laughs> Gonna have to hold that down with two hands. Well, it doesn't fit quite well. What's hanging it up here? Well, there's nothing on that. It's just this ladder slightly warped. Maybe it could be that. There we go. See, it just pops up. So let me take a look here. Is this even in wrong? Okay, we've got to, have to really make sure. I put the studs, put the stud launchers this way. I think that's how it's supposed to go in. Let's try it again. Yeah, okay. That's pretty good. Now I can pick all this extra stuff up that I had to dump out of the other bin. And yeah, I'd say that that was a pretty good build. Um, it wasn't cheesy or anything. This is obviously scaled for figures. You have to take the cab off right here if you need to get access to the interior. And it looks like you could only fit two of the three fire fighters in here. I think that guy over there that we just did earlier, you know, you see they fit in there perfectly. Excuse me. So yeah, I'd say that this is a wrap. Um, I'm happy with the build. You know, it's it looks pretty good. It looks more like a locomotive. You could probably use some of these ideas for a locomotive or something too. And this is the stud launcher. It rotates around and. You got your figures, you got Mr. Fix-It here, you got the radio antenna that we can crash into. So I would say the set is probably 9.5 out of 10, close to maybe 9.5 to a 10. It is playable. I don't like the fact that it's got stud launchers, the stickers weren't too terribly bad. So you do actually have some stuff to play with here. So. The guy with the drone, he can fly overhead and put this thing out. You can just pretend. Um, you got the firefighters that want to fall over. Um, this robot thing. Oh, all sorts of stuff. So, build experience is really good. So, I'd say this is a pretty easy build, straightforward. The manual was. Pretty much broken down just right, so you won't get too tired of the build. Build quality is pretty good, um, except for the stud launchers. Everything's got its place. Some of the stuff is loose like this, but what can you do? Play value. Well, obviously you can play with this. You got the winch in the front, and I believe that all this stuff here that's supposed to detach is supposed to, like this could go in the front of the truck here. This is supposed to detach. So you can change all this stuff around. So you got a bunch of snapping accessories. I wouldn't start pulling things off. I'd leave it the way it is. And so there's three attachments. You got one for the drone. This and the winch here are probably all compatible with one another. Uh, so this is really a nice playable item now. Could this be dropped in a city? Yes, this is standalone. These two goofy things here, you could just leave these out and the rest of it's perfect. So this is just meant, I think these were just meant for play. But I'm really happy with the way this turned out. And for mocks, of course, if you're building a custom fire station, you can just drop this in it as a vehicle too. So I would say honestly though, this is a very good fire truck. So if you really are interested in fire trucks and stuff, yeah, this will this will fit the bill. So yeah, I'm I'm satisfied with it. It's a really nice thought out vehicle. I'm happy.